Hey y'all, happy Motivational Monday. I wanna encourage you to make sure you're being real and transparent in your relationship with Christ and what you portray to others too. Um, our church at First Baptist Plant City, they're doing a series and it's called Second Chances. And it's going through the book of Philemon. And yesterday, our youth pastor, Ricky, started off the series. It's a four-week series, and he just did such a phenomenal and refreshing and a, a, a real relevant job yesterday. Thank you, Ricky. I appreciate it. And, um, and so some things that he brought out in his conversation made me think, and then there was a verse that he shared with us in Matthew that I want to share with you, and um, another one of those conviction kind of things, and it struck home. Well, some little elements that he said, it says that as a Christian, we have a responsibility, and we do. Um, no one ever said that being a Christian is going to be an easy thing, um, but a lot of people, and I don't know if it's because of the way the um, the movies or the media or however portrays things, but a lot of times Christians get a bad rap, not being fun or whatever, and Christians do have fun. We have a blast. We are the ones that's full of joy because it's an everlasting joy, and it's not just a temporary kind of joy. Um, but we also have this huge responsibility to make sure that we are being um, not hypocritical when really our, our churches and um, in us we we can be so full of hypocrites and being hypocritical and it's always important to me um, that I want to make sure that I'm I'm just real and there's so many things that I don't share because I don't want to be so vulnerable and transparent and you don't want to know everybody's business and I don't want y'all knowing all my business and a lot of times between me and God but there are times that I'm like, you know, you got to have a reality check. Um, so when he was talking about being transparent and vulnerable as well, he also led us to, Ricky did, to Matthew chapter 23. And he pointed out in verse 27 when it's talking about um, whitewashed um, tombs. And I read up on the verse above it, on um, starting at 25. And I want to share that with you and see if it's going to encourage you to even examine yourself and have God examine you and bring something out in, um, in you that you need to make sure as a Christian, you are being responsible and you've got to own up to some things. So let me read this from Matthew 23, starting at 25 to 28. Not much, but it's packed. It says, this is Jesus talking, and this is Jesus right here talking to the Pharisees, and you don't want to be a Pharisee. It says, What sorrow awaits you, teachers of religious law, and you Pharisees, hypocrites? For you are so careful to clean the outside of the cup and dish, but inside you are filthy, full of greed and self-indulgence. You blind Pharisee. First, wash the inside of the cup and the dish, and then the outside will become clean too. So there was that little thing that he mentioned, and then he, and then this is he went a little further. He says, "What sorrow awaits you, teachers of religious law and Pharisees, hypocrites!" He says again, "For you are like whitewashed tombs, beautiful on the outside, but filled in the inside with dead people's bones." and all sorts of impurities. Outwardly, you look like righteous people, but inwardly, your hearts are filled with hypocrisy and lawlessness. You know what? I, I want to make sure that um, people know that Stephanie uh, is flawed, and I've got so much going on um, that I, I need to be dealing with God on a daily basis, because that's why every day I wake up and I ask God to examine me and bring something out in me, and sometimes I'm like kind of cautious, I'm kind of scared about what He's going to reveal to me, but because I want to be better, and I want to be more Christ-like, and, um, and here's the thing though that some of us get caught up in. Uh, uh, I may be doing something that um, in someone's eyes, it's really not that big of a deal. They know me, they know my heart, they know my love for Jesus, and they know what I'm doing 
maybe not be, it's not a, a bad thing. It's even biblical. But then somebody else may look at it and go, oh, Stephanie's doing that well. She must not be a Christian and she's not doing a very good, being a good example. Well, you're being judgmental. And, and I've mentioned before how we don't need to be judgmental because that's where one of the things that in the Christian life, I believe that hurt a lot of the non-Christians is they see Christian people being so judgmental and high on their horse like a Pharisee. Um, and you, you don't want to be that way. Um, and then... But there are times when I know if there's something in my life or I'm around people and I shouldn't um, do a certain thing or behave a certain way or whatever that would hurt my witness, I, I don't want to do that. I, I really um, don't want to do that. And sometimes God keeps me in check. Sometimes it's before the fact. The Holy Spirit gets in me and sometimes it's after the fact. And he's like, Stephanie? You went a little too far. So then I repent and, and I strive to do better. So, but I, I want you to realize if, if you're a, a non-Christian that nobody is perfect, but we do look to the perfect one. We always want to make sure we're looking to Jesus. And when Satan does kind of creep in there that we need to fight, and this is a quote that Ricky, our youth pastor, mentioned yesterday as well, and it's from another pastor, Matthew Chandler, and it says this, The Lord your God is going with... Nope. That was from Deuteronomy. Here's the one. It says, you don't fight the devil in the dark. You bring him into the light. Because I want you to remember in Deuteronomy 20 verse 4 and so many other passages in the Bible that God is going to fight for you. And in this verse here, verse 4, it says, The Lord your God is going with you to help you fight against your enemies. And he will help you win. He is going to help you win. But make sure that you are being a Christian that carries on the responsibility of being a Christian to heart. Don't be a hypocrite. Don't be one of those people where um, you may see that dish on the outside and it's all clean and beautiful. But on the inside, it kind of looks like when my son Cole leaves, um, he likes to put cereal and milk in a cup and eat it at night and then couple of two, three days later, it might still be left in his room. And what happens when that milk gets in there and it gets really nasty? Outside looks really good. I'm going to pick something up and just go um, clean a little more. But the inside is stinky and nasty. And you don't want to be that way. You don't want to be the crusty. You don't want to be moldy. You, you want to be clean on the outside. Because when you're clean on the inside, it's going to show. It's going to show because there's so much joy. There's so much peace whenever you are refreshing your soul and getting it clean every day with Jesus Christ because we are flawed. Nobody's going to be perfect. But please don't judge. Please don't judge others. Just make sure you're being Christian people. I'm telling you now, we need to make sure that we are being a godly example to others. And if you notice that you're doing something that's going to hurt your witness for Christ. Stop and don't do it again and learn from it and move on and make sure that you are not that whitewashed tomb or that um, clean cup that looks all great on the outside but in the inside you're a hot mess um, and if you are a hot mess bring it up bring it up and um, and just get it out there between you and God and make sure that you are being real with him all the time and being real with others. So I know I've got some stuff I gotta take to Jesus right now. And he he's gonna he's gonna bring you to victory. He's gonna bring you to truth and grace. He's gonna clean you on the inside. So on the outside, you're not just an appearance. You're not just a Pharisee. You're not a hypocrite. You're gonna know to know and you're gonna live it and grow. Know to know, live it and grow. There you go. I hope y'all have a wonderful week ahead and um, know that God's fighting for you and I could go on and on. Gosh, these keep filling my head, but I want you to get, get with God and y'all just talk and get real. Have a beautiful day, beautiful week. Take care. Bye.